Welcome to ASFOB Tutoring. In this video we will go over 15 aviation and nautical information questions for the ASTB test. To study more, download the ASTB Tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. What is the purpose of spoilers? A. To increase wing lift. B. To decrease wing lift. C. To increase aircraft speed. D. To decrease aircraft speed. The answer is B. Spoilers are used to decrease wing lift. The specific design, function, and use vary with different aircraft. On some aircraft, the spoilers are long narrow surfaces, hinged at their leading edge to the upper surfaces of the wings. In the retracted position, they are flush with the wing skin. In the raised position, they greatly reduce wing lift by destroying the smooth flow of air over the wing surface. Question 2. In the monocoque design, the main stress on an airplane is carried by what structural units? A. Skin. B. Formers. C. Frame assemblies. D. Bulkheads. The answer is A. In a monocoque design, the primary structural element is the skin. This means the outer shell of the aircraft bears the majority of the stress, acting as a single, strong unit. Unlike other designs that rely on internal frames or structures, the monocoque construction offers a lightweight and aerodynamic advantage due to its reliance on the skin for strength and rigidity. Question 3. What is the name of the movement around the plane's lateral axis? A. Leaning. B. Stalling. C. Rolling. D. Pitching. The answer is D. Pitching is the term for the movement of an airplane around its lateral axis. This motion causes the nose of the aircraft to move up or down. It's controlled primarily by the elevators located on the horizontal stabilizer. Positive pitch raises the nose, while negative pitch lowers it. Question 4. Which of the following is not one of the basic maneuvers in flight? A. Straight and level flight. B. Turn. C. Descent. D. Spin. The answer is D. A spin is not considered a basic flight maneuver. It's an aerodynamic stall where the airplane enters an uncontrolled rotation around its vertical axis. While it's important for pilots to understand and recover from spins, they are not considered a fundamental skill like straight and level flight turns, and climbs or descents. Question 5. For the procurement of aircraft hardware from the supplier, the specification number and factory part number are converted to what numbers? A. Standard numbers. B. Air Force Navy numbers. C. Stock numbers. D. Cross-reference numbers. The answer is C. Stock numbers are the standardized codes used in the procurement process for aircraft hardware. When purchasing parts, the unique specification and factory part numbers provided by the supplier must be converted into these stock numbers for efficient inventory management, ordering, and tracking within the organization. Question 6. What are the three groups of flight control surfaces? A. Main, ancillary, and optional. B. Primary, secondary, and optional. C. Primary, secondary, and auxiliary. D. Primary, secondary, and tertiary. The answer is C. Flight control surfaces are categorized into three primary groups, primary, secondary, and auxiliary. Primary controls, such as ailerons, elevators, and rudders, directly affect an aircraft's attitude. Secondary controls, like flaps and slats, modify the wing's shape for improved lift and drag. Auxiliary controls, including spoilers and trim tabs, enhance control and stability. Question 7. Wings on an aircraft are designed for which of the following purposes? A. Lift. B. Steering. C. Cutting through the air. D. Balancing the aircraft. The answer is A. The primary function of an aircraft's wings is to generate lift. This is achieved through the airfoil shape of the wing, which creates a difference in air pressure above and below the wing when it moves through the air. This pressure difference results in an upward force, lifting the aircraft into the sky. 
While wings also contribute to other factors like stability and control, their fundamental purpose is to produce lift. Question 8. Where is fuselage station 0, 0, of an aircraft usually located? A. Center of the fuselage. B. Tail of the aircraft. C. Nose of aircraft. D. Pilot's location. The answer is C. Fuselage station 0, 0, is typically located at the nose of the aircraft. This point serves as the reference point for measuring distances along the fuselage. All other fuselage stations are measured forward or aft of this reference point. By using fuselage stations, engineers and technicians can accurately locate components and structural points on the aircraft, aiding in design, assembly, and maintenance. Question 9. What is the main structure of an aircraft? A. Engine. B. Wings. C. Fuselage. D. Tail. The answer is C. The fuselage is the primary structure of an aircraft. It serves as the backbone, housing the crew, passengers, cargo, and essential systems. This central component provides the aircraft with its overall shape and integrates other critical elements like wings, tail assembly, and landing gear. The fuselage's design is crucial for the aircraft's aerodynamic efficiency and structural integrity. Question 10. What is the main disadvantage of the use of magnesium in aircraft construction? A. Weight. B. Strength. C. Hardness. D. Low resistance to corrosion. The answer is D. Magnesium, while lightweight and strong, has a significant drawback in aircraft construction, low resistance to corrosion. Its high reactivity makes it susceptible to oxidation and deterioration when exposed to various environmental factors. This corrosion can compromise the structural integrity of the aircraft over time, necessitating strict protective measures and careful maintenance. Question 11. Instead of pure aluminum, an aircraft builder uses aluminum alloys to get what desired result? A. Stronger end product. B. More conductive metal. C. Less conductive metal. D. Softer end product. The answer is A. Aluminum alloys are widely used in modern aircraft construction. Aluminum alloys are valuable because they have a high strength to weight ratio. Aluminum alloys are corrosion resistant and comparatively easy to fabricate. The outstanding characteristic of aluminum is that it is lightweight. Question 12. What aircraft stress results from the squeezing of a material? A. Compression. B. Tension. C. Torsion. D. Bending. The answer is A. Compression stress occurs when a material is subjected to a squeezing or pushing force. In aircraft structures, compression is experienced in components like landing gear struts during landing impact, engine mounts during vibration, and fuselage skin when pressurized. Understanding compression stress is crucial for designing aircraft structures that can withstand these forces without failure. Question 13. As the helicopter's rotor turns in one direction, the body of the helicopter tends to rotate in the opposite direction. What law or principle explains this action? A. Newton's third law. B. Newton's second law. C. Newton's principle. D. Bernoulli's principle. The answer is A. Newton's third law explains the helicopter's tendency to rotate opposite to its rotor. This law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. As the rotor spins in one direction, it exerts a force in the opposite direction causing the helicopter's body to rotate. This phenomenon is counteracted by the tail rotor to maintain stability. Question 14. What is the force that is created by a propeller, jet engine, or helicopter rotor? A. Lift. B. Drag. C. Gravity. D. Thrust. The answer is D. Thrust is the force generated by propellers, jet engines, or helicopter rotors that propels an aircraft forward. This force is created by accelerating a mass of air backward. The greater the mass of air accelerated and the higher the velocity, the greater the thrust produced. Thrust is essential for overcoming drag and achieving flight. 
Question 15. The study of the forces that enable an aircraft to fly is referred to by what term? A. Thermodynamics. B. Aerodynamics. C. Hydrodynamics. D. General Dynamics. The answer is B. Aerodynamics is the study of the forces acting on an object as it moves through the air. This field of science is essential to understanding how aircraft generate lift, overcome drag, and achieve controlled flight. Aerodynamics encompasses a wide range of principles, including those related to wing design, airflow, and propulsion systems. To study more, download the ASTB tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.